Welcome, Tatiana. Tatiana Dorofeva and Kartsevo Upperville. They're our next combination to go, ranked just outside the world's top 100. They did finish second on the Central European League and thus came here as automatic qualifiers to the Remacra FEI World Cup Dressage Finals. Scored just over 70%, 71% in fact, for second place at Moscow, and that's the freestyle score. They also saw them at Stockholm on the Western European League. They finished 14th there, 67.450. So, what are we expecting for this combination from these seven judges? Maybe in the area of 63-64%. A combination that last rode the finals at Gothenburg in 2013, Tatiana Dorofeva and Kartsevo Upperville for Russia. It's a Dutch warm blood, 14 year old stallion by Cabochon, owned by uh, Sonia Vavora and Natalie Bronikova. Big loose trot could have gone deeper into that corner for the half pass, but again, a little bit of gamesmanship as well, just taking the sting a little bit out of these very steep half passes. Perhaps not showing enough crossing behind in some of these half pass movements. Just trailing one leg out in the halt. bad rain back at all. Interesting to see the scores come in for this. So we're getting the scores we expect, sixes and halves and sevens. So starting the PF quite early, well in advance of A, just drifting across the center line. Touch more lift with the hind legs. Passage showing a degree of cadence and elevation over trot, but not a huge amount to set it completely apart. So just behind that South Point banner, you have one of the judges' positions as well. Right in this uh, Thomas and Mack Center with its small field of play for dressage. We had a nice shot down the boards there as well for that transition up to Passage out of the walk. Some transition there upwards into canter. And again, not a charge you would lay at the feet of these seven judges, but when you're judging or you know, just watching as we are, and a horse has that one white sock, it's so, so difficult not to have it catch the eye and create an optical illusion of things not being quite level or even. Just the hind legs nearly together in the last of those changes, so they'll lose out on the whole sequence. But this is a good trending score at the moment, 67.8. Tatiana Dorofeva, Kartsevo, Upperville for Russia. Yeah, they 
they scored 67% in freestyle at Stockholm and you always expect the freestyle to be a couple of percent higher than the uh, Grand Prix score because you have both the technical scores and the artistic side. And that zigzag, so we've seen one zigzag finish very short, that one finished right up close to the judge at C's table, used a lot of uh, space in the ring. Tempe changes just struggling a little bit for straightness. Judge at C giving it 4.5, otherwise a mixed bag of five sixes and a 6.5. Very close to breaking down that canter there in that second counter pirouette. So they pick up the trot. It's the last opportunity to show extended trot in the Grand Prix test. Tatiana Dorofeva and Kartsevo Upperville. Coming to the final center line. A few small mistakes, and indeed just the hindquarters out on the angle here, a little bit on three tracks. Initially on the center line. Again, just building up the quality of that Piaf as it went on a little bit. So, a qualifier from the Central European League completing her test here. It is Tatiana Dorofeva and Kartsevo Apovil for Russia. So just looking back at the highlights here of Tatiana Dorofeva, Kartsevo Upperville for Russia. Just looking at this first Piaf Passage, and it wasn't the sharpest Piaf Passage. It improved as the test went on, but this is your first opportunity to say to the judges, I have absolutely got all of these Grand Prix moves squared away, me and my horse. And if you lose that opportunity, then you are fighting an uphill battle for those marks for the rest of the test. So standing by for the score for the Russian rider Tatiana Dorofeva, Kartsevo Upperville. Uh, just one more to go before the judging break here. Our ninth of 18, just coming in for her final warm up. Tatiana Dorofeva, Kartsevo Upperville score 67.043, provisionally putting them into eighth position. <laughs> 